I'm Stephanie Townrow, the Director of Education and Public Programs at Lancaster History, and I'm here today at President Buchanan's Wheatland in his personal bed chamber, here with the bed that he died in on June 1st, 1868. Mr. Buchanan passed away at the age of 77 at 8.30 in the morning on June 1st, 1868. He had been ill at this point for quite some time and was struggling to recover. He refused the pills that his doctor offered for him and instead chose to pass away. Uh, and on the morning of his death, he had a fitful sleep. He woke up several times and he requested a drink from his favorite spring on the Wheatland property where the frog pond is today. At 8.30 in the morning, his niece, Henrietta Buchanan, heard him say, O Lord God Almighty, as thou wilt, before passing away. Buchanan was surrounded by his brother Edward, nieces and nephews, and many other family and loved ones as he passed. They laid him at rest in the broad hall here at Wheatland from June 1st until June 4th, 1868, when we have records that over 5,000 people came to pay their respects to Mr. Buchanan as he laid out at Wheatland. He was then taken to Woodward Hill Cemetery and there was a large procession of the town uh, from here at Wheatland to Woodward Hill Cemetery about two miles away. The fire department came out and sprayed down the dusty road so that they wouldn't kick up dust as the procession moved. Churches rang their bells, schools and businesses closed for the day, and the townspeople came out en masse to wish their best to our former president, Mr. Buchanan. He was laid to rest at Woodward Hill Cemetery, and that's where he stays today, and you may visit his grave and wish him well on June 1st, 1868, the memory of his death. Thank you.